Okay? Cheese! Right. Boom. Off you go. Hello and welcome back to the Living With Intent podcast. Episode four, we're back in business. Um, and this episode is all about mindset. We're super fired up after... Well. <laughs> we're actually not super fired up. I mean, we've been crazy busy. <laughs> Loads have been going on, but... We've I been... um, haven't showered today, have you? No. Have you That's not? terrible. Did you we're, not this morning? We're a mess. I mean... I have... Um, so it was one of those days where I was like, yeah, I'll shower after I've done Pilates this morning or whatever. Oh, you've then, worked out though. That's not no, nice. No, to be fair, Pilates isn't sweaty though, is it? Don't know about that. I sweat a lot when I do Pilates. Anyway, so I feel grim. Also, I just said to George, I checked my phone before um, we started recording this. I have done, guess how many steps I've done today? Well, I know how many steps you've done because you told me. No, the exact. 300 steps. 278 steps. You call that yourself is, a fitness professional. That is terrible, but I've literally not moved from the laptop all day. So, but you know, I um, my new thing as well of late is to say to not say I'm busy anymore, because really everyone's busy, aren't they? In life. Oh, cool. When's that kicking in then? Well, I haven't said I haven't well, said it for the last few days. You might not have mentioned the busy word, but there's been a lot of drama. Yeah, I've just found like other words Jeez. like thesaurus. So I've just put in busy, and I've used every other word apart from that. But anyway, we've yeah. got loads of exciting things going on, and everything is super busy. But we're running off fumes of all the positive feedback yes. that we've had off the past um, episodes. They've been absolutely brilliant, and hopefully next week we'll be able to reveal a bit more. Yeah, about what's been going stay on. tuned for that, I suppose. But, but um, yeah, anyway, we hope you enjoy this episode. So uh, let's get into it. Yeah, so cracking on mindset. Um, we've got. I think it's quite relevant in our situation right now. Uh, Emily, will it? Oh. Will, We'll go into that in a second. Okay. Give me a chance. <laughs> all right, you're going to be able to tell the world about all your problems <laughs> you've got right now. No, but no, yeah, we just think that, you know, mindset's a massive thing. Uh, obviously, it plays a vital role in how you go about your daily life. And it really kind of... Every in, aspect, yeah. Career, business, relationships, relationships yeah. goals, personal goals, everything. So but Yeah, and it's, it all starts with your mindset. And I think um, you've got to be kind of willing to, to, to change, haven't you? Your mindset, rewire. Yeah. yeah. Rewire your mindset if, if you want big changes, I think. Yeah, so I had probably the past, well, it was around five days. Yes, <laughs> ever since yesterday I changed, but the previous five days before that, honestly, my mindset stunk. How bad was it? It's yeah. really, like, it hasn't been that bad in a long time, but I was really down in the dumps. Um, I was just so negative. I was a massive zapper. I have been zapped this week after oh. all the zapping chat we had last week. I just needed to listen to last week's episode. Literally, yeah. like all this week, now I've been talking to people, people have been DMing me, I've been chatting to clients, and all they've been talking about is how like, they're just done with people that do zapping. Yeah. And I've had the biggest zapper of them all <laughs> in my own house. But yeah, I wanted to tell oh, you, to really, you know, make you realise that we're not all um, always chat. Well, George claims he is. I mean... I don't know. I am agree, always but... firing at all cylinders. All right, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, I decided to, yesterday, I started to come back again, and I was like, right, I've had enough of this. So in the middle of the day, literally at midday, it was so hot as well, but I was like, I'm going to run. And then as soon as I started running, I was like, I'm going to do 10K and I'm going to get a PB. And in my head, I was imagining, I don't know if anyone does this when they're like, I don't know if it's imagery or what, but I was running and the fuel that I had was picturing like all that emotion literally flaking off my body and like the faster I ran, like the more it would come off. Do you ever yeah. do that? No, but what I do is if I'm running, I always think bad things are going to happen if I don't do stuff. Oh yeah, like I will be like, my dad will die if I don't do this. I, don't, <laughs> I mean, that's a I've bit done that for extreme, ages, but things I really want to happen, I'll, I'll say, yeah, like if I don't do this last K or yeah. I don't do these last few reps, I won't get this, you know, this won't happen. Yeah. And that's, that always gets me through because I can't yeah. let myself down. But anyway, so I 
at about 7k so I felt like I was going to pass out but then I realised I had to get home before I passed out because no one's going to help me in this climate because no one's going to want to touch me and I'll just be passed out in the middle of the street and George won't That's know. Not good. Anyway so I ran and ran and ran and I got a PB and now ever since then I've changed my attitude. Yeah and I think we were kind of talking about what to talk uh, like what we want to kind of discuss on this episode and it just was really apparent to us it was em Emily's had quite a fixed mindset over the last you know a few days and yeah we then took our view of like growth mindset versus fixed mindset and that is a massive thing when it comes to mind like you know rewiring a positive mindset and one that's going to get you where you want to be in life yeah so where better to start than discuss it on the podcast so we're going to talk about having a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset so we are, um, yeah, so a fixed mindset. So this is kind of where you're in the mind frame of I'm either good at it or I'm not. Um, I don't like to be challenged. I can either do it or I can't. And basically, you're I, just very yeah. like I'll stick, minded I'll stick to what I know. I'm not willing to like get after any challenges. Yeah. And, and you know, failure is the limit of my abilities. Yeah, I'm going to give up. If I fail, I'm giving up. Yeah. That's it. There's no kind of room for progress and growth and like, achieving things that you haven't yet done in life that that's quite a fixed mindset yeah um and then you've got the other side of that which is a growth mindset this so is i would say these are your a type kind of personalities people that yeah George this the other go day. getters no, actually. yeah so i would say i know my, i think personally i have an a type personality where i'm about getting up getting after it you know i want to improve i want to set myself challenges, I want to get out of my comfort zone, you know. Organise, I mean, I don't know how you're, you don't really fall into that category. Sorry, our dog. The growth mindset, and you've got, I can learn to do anything I want. Like that, those sorts of, when you're thinking about growth mindset, you're looking at, I can do anything I want, and I can learn anything, there's, there's the opportunity, if I put effort in and I have that attitude of I am determined, I can get to where I want to be. That's the sort of attitude of a growth mindset. And it's, yeah, like feedback is constructive. So if you take feedback, you use yeah. it and you let it empower you to do better. And it's you, kind of being willing to adapt and grow. Yeah. And like also you, you're being inspired by others around you. Yeah. Like that's a growth mindset. So something for me personally that I see a lot every day within the community that is um, GB is that like everyone really bounces up, has that growth mindset, I feel, and it's kind of, that is really contagious. And a lot of people are inspired by other people doing good stuff, and that makes them feel like they want to have that kind of mindset, and they want to get after it and achieve things and get out of their comfort zone and do, do, do more. Yeah, for sure. So we are just going to cover a few points as to how you can kind of rewire your mind and move from more of a fixed mindset to more of a growth mindset. So, with that in mind... Yeah, and I gonna... think it's relevant because I think starting having a mindset that's, that's growth-led growth, growth led is, like, really important for you living the life that you envision yeah. uh, and you want. So, let's, let's crack on, start with it, and hopefully give you some take-homes that you can go and apply into your life and um, move forward from there. So, go on, Ems, you've got a good one to start. So the first one is don't worry about winning the competition, commit to the process of training like a champion. Big one. So have you got a, a little example here of what you've been going through oh, recently? Oh yeah, so basically why I was so down in the dumps the past uh, few days, I was very much set on um, the end goal. I feel like... Yeah, obviously... Uh, was, well, so. Sorry, no, yeah, you I was going to interrupt you and yeah, say that. Like, obviously, <laughs> I do like to interrupt him, don't I? But we've got some goals that we're chasing and big goals that are like really scary and they're kind of, um, you know, the unknown. At, at times feel very unachievable. Yeah. And I think you yeah. recently, like you were going to go and say, you've been focused on that, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. And um, obviously, you're. Yeah, I'm, I I think a bit further ahead than George does, and sometimes I need to focus on like today and what's going on today. Whereas it's very easy to fall into that thing of like, oh, but in five years I want to be here. 
Um, and that's kind of the trap I got into and I really like lost sight of what we're doing now, why we're doing it. I was just like, oh, is this worth it? If I'm, you know, we might not get what we want to, where we want to be, but ultimately, You've got to enjoy the process. You've yeah, got, this leads on to the next thing. Well, you've of, got to embrace it. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. Sorry, you go. Yeah, and no, that's it. I just think you've got, you've really got to, whatever the goal is that you're trying to chase, you know, a big one I can use every time is, for example, if you're trying to, if you've got, you're on a weight loss journey or you want to transform your body, obviously the, the goal is to feel and look and, and be a certain way. But at the end of the day, you've got to, focus on and embrace the journey of those daily habits that are going to get you there it comes back to the habit show that yeah. we did but it's like you've got to you've got to enjoy you know being more active you've got to embrace the fact that you're going to have to eat more vegetables and, and you know and better food mm. and, and all those things are kind of if, if you're not willing to embrace that you're not willing and you're not you don't want to do those things day in day out then you know focusing on the big end picture is just going to cause overwhelm and stress and you're going to be right back at the start yeah you'll probably never get there i said to george i feel like this was like six months ago or so now but i said um when we were kind of a bit more at the start of the journey we're on now i i said where do you see like the end like do you think you'll ever i think i said something like do you think you'll ever sit back and go yeah this is it like i've done it yeah. and um, because in my head I was like I don't think we will ever stop like I don't see us reaching a point of like obviously there'll be things in life that happen that probably force you to slow down slightly but I can't ever foresee us being like we've done enough now yeah and that's you know where I mean? that's what I was that's what I was getting at when I was talking to them about it. I was saying that really like I don't see myself wanting to ever stop because I love what we the way we've set our lives up and the, the kind of ambition we have and the things that we're chasing and those sort of things will get me out of bed in the morning that's what get, puts fire in my belly yeah um and i think you know that's so important to realize that and to know that like you know there, there shouldn't feel like there's an end goal there should feel like it's a it's a journey that's ongoing yeah and that's massive when it comes to health and fitness Oh god, yeah. You know, it's what what happens when you lose the weight? What happens yeah. when you deadlift your, you know, your body weight? What happens when you no longer have a shoulder injury? Yeah. And you have to be willing to like your goals are going to change along the way, what you enjoy is going to change along the way. So it's not by the time you probably are about to get to that goal, it's probably no longer your goal. No, exactly. And you you would have realized other things and you would have kind of learned new things about yourself that makes you, you know, just forms habits, doesn't it? Yeah. And, it's, and they're ingrained in you then. Yeah. And it's a part of you. And I think that's it. It's a part of your life. Yeah. What have you got next there? Well, I think a big one is looking at challenges as opportunities. Like this is mm. huge. You know, when it comes to having a growth mindset and making progress with whatever you're doing, you have to seek discomfort and you have to kind of face challenges head on and learn from them, yeah. don't you? It's not a case of like, if everything went swimmingly, it would be quite boring, I think. Life would be quite boring. Yeah. You know, I, I really believe that, you know, this sounds cliche, but great things happen outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. Oh, God, 100%. And the more you do stuff that's out of your comfort zone, the more it becomes easy for you. Yeah. And you're comfortable with it. And it's... We have a, um, like, a drawing on, uh, underneath our TV. And it's basically a, a woman on the edge of a cliff. And the sea says... What does it say? Can you read? It's basically the cliff is her comfort zone, and then the leap of faith into the sea is where all the exciting things happen. Um, so I, yeah, I love that whole thing of if you. Some people like to be comfortable in life, and that's absolutely fine. But I just believe that you get so much out of it. Well, and I, and also like this is the thing. The podcast and the theme of this podcast is to live life with intent. Yeah. And at the end of the day, if you're always in your comfort zone, you're never going to live life with intent. Like you're never going to you know be the happiest you can be, the most fulfilled and healthiest yeah. you can be. And it's exciting when you're when yeah. you're not in your comfort zone. You know, um, who really says when you're comfortable? How exciting is that? Really? Yeah, exactly. It's, it, and that's that's a fixed mindset. You know, when when you're you know falling away from, you don't want to chase challenges and you don't want this to have that uncomfortable kind of moments you are having that you, you essentially have a fixed mindset so it's about chasing after those yeah challenges yeah so um leading off from that as well when you're 
when you view those challenges as opportunity, obviously you've got to be open to the fact of it might not go to plan. Yeah, and that's like, like replace the word failing with learning. Yeah. So I listened to a podcast a few months ago now about the woman who created Spandex, which is, is that, yeah, that's what it's called. Spandex. That's like, what was that? Shapewear. Oh, right, yeah. And I mean. so um, she went to, obviously, like most of these huge business people do, they go to hundreds and hundreds of people asking for investment, sharing their idea, just trying to get themselves out there. And she said she faced so many no's. Um, but when she was younger, her, her dad, whenever they would have dinner, you know, like when you're younger, most people have the dinner table talk. So if they come back from school, they say like, how was your day? And one thing he always, yeah, one, what did you learn to say? But one thing he always asked, um, I think she might have had, it was like her and her sister or something. He would always say, what did you fail at today? Or give me three things you failed at today because he wanted to ingrain in them that failure wasn't a negative thing yeah. and don't be afraid to fail and i just never forgot forgot that and i think that's something i'll take um onto when we have children like i really don't want them to be scared of failing because it stops from doing you from doing so many things and there was a when i when i was in my interior design days i put above my desk i found this quote that I loved and it just said, um, if you don't quit, you can't fail. Yeah, like I was just about to say, you only fail when you stop trying. Don't yeah. You? you know, you can fall back and you can, you can, you know, do the wrong things and fail as many times as you want, but all the time that you're willing to try, you're, yeah. willing, you're still in the game. And those people that are making fun of you for failing, I mean, are they, are they trying anything new? Are they failing at anything? Yeah. And it's, and it's like another point I've got is seek criticism as a positive too. Yeah. Yeah, you know. someone actually, my um, cousin, she asked me to cover criticism on the podcast. So here's a little opportunity to talk about it. But um, yeah, she just said how to deal with criticism, whether that's from, um, she started her own business. So whether that's from clients or your family or your friends. And it's, yeah, just to see that as a positive and yeah. a way to grow and learn from it. From experience, I've only learned from criticism mm. like, and, or, any con or any constructive feedback. Yeah. It's only helped me kind of, do better and but learn it's and definitely progress. been hard to take at times um, because but, yeah because yeah it you're especially say if it's your own business um obviously that's like you're so emotionally involved and it's your whole life and if someone's saying something negative about it straight away you're like it's, it's, it is hard to take it does mm. hit sometimes but um yeah you only you only get better from that so i think just try and see it as an opportunity yeah absolutely to get better Good, yeah, I mean, next, the next point I've got is start saying yet more. Yeah. What do I mean by that? Well, instead of being like, no, I can't do that. Be what? like, oh, I haven't got there yet. Yeah. I'm so not, not at that point yet. It leaves room for growth. Yeah. Doesn't it? Suggest that you're not there yet, but you will. And we you spoke about, there. yeah, we spoke about this in the last po po podcast and it's like how you talk to yourself, mm. the language you use. And it's like, I can get there. I haven't got there yet, but I can. And I will do what I need to do to do that instead of like, I can't, or I'm not there, you know, those negative kind of... Yeah, so it's like your own beliefs in yourself. So for example, you, some people would just say, I can't lose weight. It's too hard for me to lose weight. Yeah, or like I haven't, you know, you're trying to deadlift like your, your personal best, your body weight in a deadlift. And if you talk to yourself like, I haven't got there yet, but like I'm getting there. Yeah. You know, like last week I'm stronger than I, I'm stronger than I was last week. You know, my, my, my technique's improved since last week and I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. And yeah. it's like that growth mindset. It's like, I will get there. And it's that positive kind of feeling around that. Yeah. But yeah. And then I think, um, lastly, is take... Lastly, I've got another one. Yeah. Oh, go on. Sorry. You know, what's your... But Sorry. I just think like, um, when it comes to like growth mindset, I think it's... It's all great being consistent. It's all great doing things over and over again. But I think if you really want things to change, you have to be persistent with a purpose. Right. You know, so one of my core values is to be consistent with purpose and intent. Mm. So what I mean by that is like, when I'm, when I'm doing stuff on a daily basis, if I just do the same things over and over again and expect something different to happen, then I'm, I'm being silly. Yeah. Because... 
You can't. Like, what if you're? It's be, it's great to be consistent at something, but if you want change and progression, you've got to chase that kind of uncomfortable, like you know. Yeah. Same mindset, same results. Exactly. New mindset, new results. Nothing changes. If, if nothing changes. If nothing changes, that's something that I really like that. You know, so it's yeah. like when you're looking at like it's really easy to get stuck in that kind of rut as well. It's like just going over doing the same things day in day out, and I think that's how you end up then being in that fixed mindset. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. So yeah, um, that's, that's 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 all I have to okay. say on that one. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for the last one? Then? Yeah, go on. Get the last one on then. Come on in. <laughs> so, God, also the quote is off flying off the shelf today. Yeah, we need to get like some <laughs> gifts made, don't we? I need like we need to make a book of just quotes. You know, you get those pages of just like little yeah. quotes. I hope people are like taking these quotes in and you know yeah, using noting them. them down, yeah. Because no jokes aside, I don't think like they're just coming out. I'm yeah, not really I know. I do, them, I do love a quote, but um Emily like, does love a quote, yeah. Yeah, but I think they you know, some, if you've had a bad day and you look at a quote, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. it really resonates, get yeah. hits you deep. Um anyway, yeah, the last, the last one, take ownership over your attitude. Right, so when I was being, you know, a zapper last week, I did keep saying to George, I was like, oh, I just don't know why I'm being like this. Like, I don't like being around me at the moment, so I don't know how you're feeling. And but I never, I didn't, I don't really think I blamed anyone for it. In my fairness, did I? No, I just, no, no. I, think... I did say I know I'm, you know, I know I'm being, uh, you Z- know, don't don't want to swear, but yeah. Um, but I was like, I just don't know how to get out of it. But it's basically, if you're, you know, you wake up, you go and get your coffee at your normal coffee shop and say something in that coffee shop just pisses you off, right? And then that sets the tone for your day. And from then on, your attitude is stinking all day long, right? You're just horrible to anyone you meet or you're just, you're just a bit miffed throughout the day. Don't, you know, and you're, and you're probably in your head like, oh, bloody person in a coffee shop like they've really got to me yeah that's where you've got to control your chimp yeah you're so in your chimp. the chimp paradox if you haven't read that book it's a mindset management book okay. but it's incredible sometimes george gets a bit irate and i'll say you need to control your chimp right now it basically <laughs> talks about how you have an inner chimp so yeah. everyone has it and um that comes out and it kind of takes control over your emotions it's not really yeah. you is it if, if, well, personally, it's one of my favourite books on mindset, but it's called The Chimp Paradox, and, and it essentially goes on about there's two parts of the brain, and it's the chimp and it's the human. The human obviously makes the sensible decisions, thinks about things logically, and the chimp is based on kind of like in the moment, like um, real like fire, like yeah. what you're feeling, and it's like, and it's all about like handling nerves, kind of handling anxiety handling you know all of it all, yeah. all the pressures that you kind of go through on a daily life and it's great really great book so really yeah. digestible as well so i definitely recommend getting on that yeah but yeah so it's just basically um taking ownership of the way you're feeling and not blaming it on something else or someone else yeah and i think you go through life doing that one of the things i said to you last week as well was like we're doing this and yes it's tough but like doing yeah. the things that are tough are only going to make us like better yeah you know what i mean and i've tried to kind of like say it. it's not easy but if it was easy everyone would be doing it i was basically just having to cry about how hard i feel like my life is yeah when it, you know with everything going on it's really not but um, yeah and it just it was like I, I was saying you know yes it's tough but like it's what we want to do we're passionate about it and it's like mm. it's you know it's gonna get us to where we want to be yeah and yeah. I'm quite uh I am very impatient I have learned that about myself I you know I kind of knew it before but if I like I've always said in in the previous podcast I like to see that my life is changing and I think this has been the first year or 18 months for us where like we haven't had a massive change and obviously that is totally normal um I think you just probably forgot how far you've come a little bit. Yeah. Which is because you've just been so in the moment, you've been head down, grafting, and you haven't taken any time to reflect. Yeah. And just to think. That is another thing, take time to reflect. That yeah. is a, a huge Because part. that's how you can help have a growth mindset. Yeah. Of course, because you can kind of think, right, this is how far I've come. Like, when you're getting frustrated and you've got that fixed mindset, I can't do it, I'm not good enough for yeah. that. 
It's yeah, like, um, our mentor said that he takes like two or three days a year, every year, isn't it? Where he goes, he no, it's every three months. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. every few months. Well, yes. we haven't done it once yet, but you go away, like wherever that might be. So you book a hotel on your own, or you just go to a place um, where you're not around anyone, and you just sit with yourself and think about. You just spend time to reflect about, you know what has been going on in your life previously, how, where you're going, what, where you want to get to, and just all of that. So, um, yeah, and just, yeah, like, it's, I guess, well, like I said earlier, just rewiring your mindset, making yeah. sure that like the things you're doing are complementing your, compliment your life, they're not complicating it. Mm. And, um, and yeah, just being on top of that, because like I said earlier, we just get stuck in a rut. Yeah. We just go through life. Like, yes, we're consistent with our actions, but are they being, are they intentional and are yeah. they purposeful with what we're doing and they are they like getting us to where we want to be? Mm. But yeah, and it's totally okay to have, you know, it's so hard to be positive every day and have a growth mindset every day. And it's totally okay to have bad days. Like I think I was just so tired and exhausted and you know, sometimes you do lose the weight, but just make sure that you're taking those small steps. You know, you don't have to go out and change all of these things at once. No, Even if you're just altering the way you think about one thing every day. And it's just having those kind of go-to things you can do when you're having those moments. It's absolute yeah. rubbish that people say that like, you know, the quote like, um, when you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. Like, I'll be honest, that's... Liars. The, that is not true. <laughs> like, anyone that will tell you, I've, I've got mates that are professional footballers and like, that's the dream job, but I know they have to, like, they have days where work is tough. It's hard, yeah. And it's the same for me, like, yes, I love what I do, I'm passionate about it, but of course there's days where, like, you don't jump out of bed, and you're, you know, and you're frustrated, and, but you, you've got to have those moments where you've got to think, like, why am I doing this? Like, remember your why again, and reflect on how far you've come, and reflect on, like, the bigger reason behind it, and, yeah. and all the positive things that come with it, and it's like, just kind of having that moment to take some time for yourself to think, right, I'm very fixed right now with my mindset. Mm. What do I need to be doing? Is it a new challenge? Yeah. Is it getting something, doing something that's out of my comfort zone? Is it being around some other people that kind of are doing great things that I want to be doing? Mm. You know, those sort of things. And the worst thing, so we tried to film this yesterday and George was like, you're just in a fixed mindset right now and <laughs> when you're in that state the last thing you want to hear because i was like i know i know i am but i can't get out and i was thinking why is he telling me now that i like does he not think i know anyway, yeah well emily wanted to film a podcast on you know promoting growth mindset and she was the one being all fixed so it's raging so yeah we had to so Although, what we did just before this george did say he wanted to smack me <laughs> you did say he was, oh, he was yeah, not in an aggressive way, no, it was more like joking, 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 yeah. But you weren't, you were hardly, you know, you were being a bit of a whopper though, weren't you? Oh, <laughs> you haven't eaten dinner, is it? Yeah, I was actually just about to say to you that I was not dinner tonight. No, we need to sign off because we got dinner now, <laughs> it's getting late and everything well, gets angry. I'm not making dinner, but yeah, hopefully, there's <laughs> he's just ignoring me, anyway. I'm really not sticking but to yeah, the purpose. We hope, um, we hope that's given you uh, some food for thought, as George always says at the end of these. And as I say, even if you just try and implement one of those to one part of your day, every day for a week. And it's, I think, I think it's just understanding the two points, like the two kind of areas in your brain. Yeah. And understanding that there are... And that you control that. Yeah, you're in full control. Like, yeah. you have all the ability, like, and like, you can change the way your mind thinks, but you have to kind of like, you know, go back to like the basic steps, you can't yeah. do it all at once. And take well, note of who is making you feel like <coughs> you're bloody, you're in a fixed mindset or a growth mindset as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was going to say something, but I can't remember what is coming out of my head. It's gone. It's gone. It's absolutely gone. What a nightmare. <laughs> but. Thank you so much for listening and for all your support. Yeah, as thank always. you so much. And just. God, the dog is fidgeting. Yeah, I know. Well. This is we, we're recording uh, later in the evening. We won't be doing another one of these at night. That's for sure. <laughs> we are dry. We are dried out from the day. Pud is awake because normally in the morning he's fast asleep, but he's ready to play now. So 
We've battled through though, we've done it. But yeah, go away from this thinking with a growth mindset, okay? Yeah. No more fixed, all right? You can do it. Boom. Okay, thank you.